Well, Thursdays on Carolina in the morning on Fox Wilmington usually means we're joined by a medical professional in the area today. Case in point, this morning we're joined by Kevin Hodge, Chief Transport Nurse for the New Hanover Regional Medical Center's Aerolink Critical Care Transport Services. Insert breath there. He's going to talk about the STEMI heart attack protocol. Now, Kevin, I know there's a lot of information. First of all, we'll talk about why there is a protocol and what necessarily is the protocol. Well, again, Bob, thank you for having me on sure. today. Um, cardiac care is my passion. We do have a STEMI protocol in place, and the reason for that protocol is once you develop standard workflow, that's going to produce standard results, and that's what we want to achieve in this type of patient population is time is of all essence. Time equates to muscle loss or muscle gain, so it's very important to have a standard protocol in place that you can A, uh, share with your referral partners in the region so they're all on the same sheet of music, but also um, B, we can produce that result at the end of it. And we're talking about people that are suffering from symptoms of a heart attack. That's correct. Um, and, and that's very important that you brought that up. Um, that's something that the community needs to understand for themselves and own that. Recognizing the symptoms of, of a heart attack is very important. That's the first chain of survival. And what are some of those symptoms? I, I think this is a great opportunity to, to review those. Uh, you know, any type of chest discomfort that you may have, uh, it can be described in a various um, manner of ways of chest pain starting as pressure, sharp stabbing pain, burning pain, and it could include radiation to the arm, neck, jaw area associated with breaking out into a sweat, feeling like you're going to pass out, uh, or feeling like you're going to throw up. And if you should recognize these symptoms, it's very important uh, that you don't try to transport your own self to the emergency department, but that you pick up the phone and you call 911. I know we have some video provided by the hospital of the, the protocol that you'll talk about. Go ahead and walk us through this. So you, you first make the call to 911, which is imperative. Take us through what happens after that. All right, so the first step would be recognizing the symptoms that we just now reviewed. Um, then you'd pick up 911 and call. And the importance of that is they're going to provide you with information on the phone uh, in case, say, your loved one is actually arrested or went into uh, their heart has stopped uh, beating. So they can provide vital information on the front side of that. But they also will activate the local EMS service who will provide high quality care once they get there to your uh, location. They can do a tracing of your heart, identify early that you're having a STEMI or a heart attack, and then they can activate the team on the, on the back side of that. Uh, from that point, um, they will either A, depending on their location, transport you directly uh, to a center that can open up the artery, or they will activate uh, the aircraft. And the reason for activating the aircraft, if we talk about that just a little bit, uh, we went from a single engine or a single uh, aircraft model to a dual aircraft model. And what that's done for the uh, region is it's increased or doubled the resources that were available. But also from the point when we are activated or called, we've reduced that time um, by 40%. So if you're looking at an overall time segment of 60 minutes to drive an individual to a, to a hospital, we can do that in 30 minutes. So it, it's been a significant improvement for that. Okay, we're, we're running a little bit short on time, Kevin. Obviously, it's nice to know that the steps are in place. And again, to point out, this is not just in our area. This is across the board. And again, if you think you're having any of the symptoms, the very first thing you want to do is dial 911 to get the emergency situation underway. Kevin, again, I appreciate the time. Thank you. S uh, sterilize that. I have a cold. <laughs> Thanks, sir. This one now just for the ladies.